Hello, hello everybody, Chris here and welcome back to another YouTube video where I'm just gonna be updating you on everything VHS wise. We got a new update from Sam G last night so I want to show it to you on screen and I'm just gonna sum it up real quick so you don't have to go through the whole thing and then I'm gonna give you my own opinions on it and then we can talk about it some more in the comments I guess. So basically, yes, the whole Hellbent team agrees that the downtime for VHS has been long and it is frustrating for everybody, for both them and us. And it's in the best interest of both sides to have the game out as soon as possible. But obviously there is a reason for such a long downtime. We all know what's been going on. All the way from DDoS attack that made them put VHS under maintenance and then fixing up all the security issues. But what a lot of people don't know and I've been telling you for a while now because they did mention it a couple of times. They didn't just try to fix all the security issues, they've seen this as an opportunity to actually amplify it, future proof it if you will. Which means there is a lot of things they have to do from scratch and they have to do a lot of research. For a bunch of developers this is the first time doing this. Even though they have a lot of knowledge in their own fields, this is probably not something they dealt with a lot. Maybe for most of them or even for all of them this is the first time. And she even says if they were just to fix all of the issues, all the security issues, it would have been only a couple of weeks, which means we would already be back up on VHS. And I agree with their decision to amplify, to modify, to remake the security system and to make it future proof so nothing like this happens ever again. Like I'd rather wait 3 months now and know that nothing like this will happen ever again. I mean, at least not this big. Even if they run into any serious issues in the future, the maintenance most probably will not be nearly as long as this one. Like I can live with a one week maintenance once the game is fully out. If any issues, if any bigger issues happen, that's just probably unavoidable. But another month plus long maintenance would probably make you lose interest in the game. But yeah, that's just how I see it, I guess. But since I'm really curious as to what your point of view is of, around this whole situation, what would you do? Let's say we all had a vote in this, not only them. The whole community gets a vote and you have two options. They fix up only the current issues which would probably last for a couple of weeks and that means that the game would be out by now. Or they make all of those changes to security system which is gonna future proof it but we do have to wait quite a bit longer. What is your choice? Let me know down below. And in the second part of the update, they are talking about something that I mentioned so many times in many of my previous videos, why they don't want to give us an estimated time of when VHS is going to be coming back. And I've seen a lot of comments on my own YouTube videos. I can only imagine what the Discord looks like. That, that's why I'm not even checking it anymore. Just people popping in like what's happening with VHS? Why isn't the game back yet? And just stupid questions, even though you have all of those updates in the discord. The reason they don't want to give us an ETA or ETA, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, is because they don't want to make the same mistake they made in the past. I don't know if you've been here from the very beginning, but when they were dropping the beta, they did collaborate on stream with Granny, uh, with TechSmith, and on Granny's stream, which was around 22nd of November if I remember correctly, they were doing a whole interview thing, showcasing the gameplay, just having fun with it. And then after playing a couple of games with Granny, at the very end of the stream they announced hey VHS is coming out in two days right the beta is coming out so if you haven't signed up for it yet go and sign up you can expect the keys on your email of course if you get chosen by the random system and all that and once the date was there I think it was 24th of November when the game was supposed to be coming out there was some kind of complication right they couldn't send out the emails this the bot that probably does that thing wasn't working properly and the whole thing went to shit right everybody was getting frustrated because they didn't give us the news right away like they tried to fix it for a couple of hours they couldn't and then they had to delay it for a couple of days which i don't even think it was that much it was really only a couple of days people started bashing in the discord on twitter they started attacking developers for not delivering the game and all of that stuff it was really fucking disgusting like i'm talking full-on bash there were such disgusting things said in the discord they had to ban a lot of people and after that happened i figured they will never give us an estimated time of anything anymore because I wouldn't. The only reason you gave them the estimate in the first time is because people wanted, right? Everybody was hyped, everybody was curious. It's better for us to know like when the game is coming out. Like if I was waiting for a game that was supposed to be coming out in 2022, I'd rather know the date, at least the month, right? Like if somebody told me it's coming out in 2022, like, yeah, I'm not sure when. 
right? That's 365 days. But if you told me like, oh, it's coming in July, then at least I know when to get prepared for it. So I get the whole thing why people want an estimate. So you don't have to really worry about it. Like if they told us, oh, it's coming out in a month from now, you know, you don't have to wait for it every single day. You just come back in a month. And that's why I think it was a really good thing they did announce hey, beta is coming out in two days because the whole, everybody was so happy, right? But then again, I do completely understand why they will never do it again. If you've been there, you would understand as well. Maybe you've been there. Let me know down below in the comments if you have been, if you've seen all the disgusting comments people send. Anyway, that's all on the update. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. And yeah, they also said they will not be giving us weekly updates anymore because most of the time there is nothing to, you know, update you on. They're doing their best to give us the game back as soon as possible. They're working on it, there's most probably some complications because as we already mentioned they're doing this for the first time so we're not sure what's happening behind the scenes all we know is that they're doing their best so yeah it's gonna be back when it's back hopefully it's gonna be soon we shall see if there is any more future updates that they give us i will make sure to make a youtube video on it anyway that's it for me if you guys want to drop a comment if you have any questions i'd be really happy to answer them and if you have anything else you want to discuss comment section is wide open. As always, if you find the videos enjoyable or somewhat informative, please consider smashing the like button below. And if you don't want to miss out on any future ones that I'll be posting, please consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell. All that said, wishing you all a beautiful rest of your day and I guess I'll see you in the next one. See you.